mesmo. Holding a lovely bandage on my face. So in my phone last year when I saw I had no type of pimple but it continued to get worse and I got pretty sick. Finally made it into a doctor and turned out I was battling a tap infection. Well, guess what? <laughs> So about five days or so ago, I began feeling pain rising in the area of my face. And it felt like another zit was trying to come through to the surface. I didn't touch it until about three days after the pain began and I touched it because it did make it way to the surface and white pus were coming out of it so and so that was just it. I touched it to clean it up and see if any more of the pus would come out. I then went to bed. The next morning, at the very second I woke up, I could feel that something was not right with my face. I could feel it swollen, and so on that when I looked in the mirror, the whole part of my face was swollen, and it looked pretty bad like it looked like there was a ball <laughs> taking out from the side of my face underneath my skin and the bottom side of my lip the same side where my soul is was puffy too and also the inner side of my cheek was also swollen. It was like pressing right up against my teeth. I couldn't fully open my mouth. I had a really hard time eating breakfast and it was painful. When I saw it, it popped into my mind like Oh my gosh, could it really be another chef and vaccine? Someone looked it up online like, cause chef and vaccine ye a call, can they come back? Some website was saying, what do you get us chef and vaccine? They were more prone to getting them. Unfortunately, Tap is a type of bacteria that when you get it, the body cannot become immune to it. In some cases, people who get a tap infections end up hunting them with its tap infection. We are throughout the whole life. I'm hoping that not my case, but you never know. When my husband David walked up, I showed him my face and I said something is wrong. Something isn't right here. So because I battled as tough and fats and also on my chin that time, before we decided that we should get me in to see someone right away. So that afternoon, we went to urgent care. When the not that the swelling 
and my soul seemed like, oh yeah, this isn't good. And unfortunately, what I thought that could be, it was. I'm battling another tough infection. Luckily, that time we got myself locked that right away. Not like that time we waited a bit because we were not aware of this a bit condition. But because I had it before we were more aware and we went in because better to be safe than sorry. So I'm back to what to make sure I don't get a bit of fever, um, bandaging my face, taking antibiotics, and pain really, really quickly to how I'm feeling because tough. Is something they don't want to play around with. It can lead to very serious things. The swelling that like, went down a bit, I can still feel some swelling happening in the inner side of my cheek, which makes chewing on the sun very awkward. It's time to take tests, but again, my little princess second birthday is only in a couple weeks. I can't believe he's already turning to and time goes by so fast. I'm hoping this is all cleaned up by the time his day is still or at least a lot better because I do have a lot of stuff planned for his second birthday. But yeah, that is what going on in my life. It's been unfortunate, but like I said, it was a really good thing that we went in right away. I want to say thank you so much for all my prayers and the well wishes. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.